All right, so now we are gonna do something very similar to what we did before with the blind contours of three minutes each of our face where we didn't look at our paper at all. This time we're gonna switch it up a little bit differently. We're gonna do what is called a modified blind contour, meaning we are allowed to look at our paper kind of occasionally or sometimes, but we're gonna keep our pencil glued to the piece of paper while we do it. And the reason that we're gonna, we're gonna keep our pencil glued to the piece of paper as we do this is because with that practice, we stop ourselves from constantly removing our hand off the piece of paper to check to see if what we did is correct. When we keep our pencil on the piece of paper, we still are allowing for those mistakes, which are always gonna happen when you draw inevitably and are kind of focusing on just getting things closer to accuracy, closer to a correct type of accuracy. But still, these are still super fun. They're not gonna look, you know, exactly like us. They're gonna have like that silly, absurd sort of look that your blind contours of your self-portrait looked. Like it's gonna look funny like that. So just, you know, enjoy. Enjoy the process, trust the process. Um, so I started with my nose in the last video and I really want everyone to kind of push themselves to try with different parts of the face for this. So um, being that this is your fourth blind contour of yourself, maybe you can start with a different part. Um, I want this to be about a 10 minute long um, modified blind contour of yourself. Please do this in a mirror again. Um, and since you're going to have to sit for 10 minutes in the mirror, just make sure that you're going to be comfortable. So, um, you know, make sure that you're like choosing the position. Like if you want a straight ahead profile view, that's cool. You could do like a three quarter, um, view too. I'm, I'll try the three quarter one. That sounds like fun for me. Um, I'll mix it up. So when I'm starting this, I'm only gonna do this for like five minutes too. So um, remember your 10 minutes, I'm gonna do this for five minutes just to have a shorter video and you can do it as, um, as I speak while you're watching this video or you can watch the video and then you can go ahead and do it. So I started with the nose before. I'm gonna do a three quarter profile. Um, you know, this time let's start with the turtleneck. <laughs> Let's start with the shoulders. I'm allowed to look a little bit, right? So you can see in the video, my eyes are gonna be like flashing down at the piece of paper, but I still am keeping my pen on the paper. I'm keeping it loose. I'm working with my hairline. I'm keeping my pencil really light in the start. And that's because I can go ahead and go over the same places that I've already have drawn and make it the line darker. I'm like more committed to that being like, yes, that's exactly where I need that like eyebrow to land or that pigtail to land. Keeping my eye, keeping my eye on myself. It's very tricky. It's very tricky to like when you know the rule of, well, it's modified so I can look at the piece of paper a little bit, you still really want to try to withhold only looking at the piece of paper.
And just try to make sure that you can get, you have 10 minutes to do this, so try to get like the hair in there. Make sure to focus on all of the different parts of the face um, to like an equal amount. Like make sure you're working on both eyes equally. Make sure you're working on both sides of your hair equally. Don't put all the effort into like one part of the face. Distribute that effort equally throughout the entire drawing. Curls coming out. So as you can see, like I'm going over the nose again for like the third time. And then I'm just kind of like using a darker line to really like implement um, these parts that I'm like, yes, that's exactly where I want that to go. I almost took my little hand off the page there and keeping that pen there, redoing the ears. Forehead a little bit more. The shape of my cheek. Just to, keeping myself from going too fast, staying slow, staying steady. I'm working on kind of the contrast of my own facial features, I guess. I have darker eyes, so I'm just kind of darkening that up. Let's see if I can slow down and get the nuances of the eyelid, the top lid. Crazy, crazy eyes. That's okay. Just need to make this iris section a little bit bigger. It's a very fun thing because, like, once you start to draw yourself over and over and over again, you kind of like. I always accidentally draw myself with um, kind of my eyes like a little bit too big. <clears throat> All right, and there you have it, just a five minute demonstration. So if I put another five minutes into this, I could kind of get like my, the hair a little bit more, maybe the shoulders. Yeah, so just work from the shoulders around your face um, and no eraser, okay? Don't rely, don't erase anything for this. <coughs> just stay loose, keep it fresh and have fun.